Hey there YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, assembly, and video review of this artificial Christmas tree from Costco. It is item number 2006-005. Alright, let's see how much this looks like the photo. Even the poles themselves are numbered. This is actually quite heavy. These needles look so real compared to all the ones that we've seen in other stores. Um, wow. Okay, so I'm looking at the manual and it's pretty sparse, so I think this is just really easy to assemble, so we're going to see. Alright, so you just open the stand by twisting it open, and it clicks, that's pretty easy. And then there's a little button that you press when you want to take the tree down, and then it collapses. Right, so we got our base, alright, we got to find our number one. One's number one. Whoa, hello. Okay, this is our number one. Oh, this says throw it away. Okay, so I guess we throw this away. This says reuse on it right here. And then there's also a little picture of a guy throwing it away. Hmm. Alright, let's unwrap this. Okay. So, it doesn't look like there's any connector for the bottom. So, looks like you just set this guy down in here. Is that what it said in the instructions? To fluff it out? Yep, fluff it out. Alrighty. Fluffed out. For the most part. Oh, okay. And so if you look here, the power connectors run through the tree. So that's how there's no wires. There's a connector here. Yes, this is two. Have a cover, I guess, to protect things from going in there and breaking those little prongs. Little prongs in there. Okay, and it is keyed. There's even a little arrow. That's handy. Alright, let's line this up. This is not the lightest tree, but it feels like quality. So I will deal with the weight. Alright. Didn't really feel a click or anything, but we'll pump that in. And we'll fluff this out. So as I'm shaking this, I'm not seeing any of the needles fall out. That's good. It looks like all the needles are not the same. Once you get into the interior of the tree, they are swapped out with the cheaper plasticky uh, tinsel kind of needles. This piece also has the same harness. And again, you can look at here. All you have to do is line up, whoa! <laughs> All you have to do is line up the arrow. It doesn't click like you think it would, but I guess why would it have to click? This is pretty heavy, it's not going anywhere.
these are these are so real looking. All right, we've fluffed it out a bit. Let's see what it looks like with the lights on and no decorations. And here's the plug. It has an on-off switch, a foot control that controls the master power on-off. And then you have a control box that you can go through the modes with on the cord itself. And it comes with a remote that has all the same features. Let's go through all the different modes. The first mode you have a white solid and then after that you have white dimming. See how it has like the little lines there? Okay, and then you have color solid. And I'm, in the viewfinder, these lights look kind of purple, but in real life, they are blue. Uh, so you have the blue, green, red, orangish yellow, all the colors of Christmas. All right, then we're going to do dimming color. And then we're going to do fading in and out of white into color. Actually, that's strobing. <laughs> that one is strobing white into color. The next one is fading white into color. And then the next one is going from white to color and repeating? I don't I actually don't know what that means. I think I'm not going to use any of these modes really and just stick to the solid color because I'm boring. But you do have all those options to choose from. And for the energy conscious among us the tree uses 11.6 watts. Alright, let's decorate this and see how it looks. Alright, we got the tree all decorated now. It looks like any other tree that I've had. Actually, we used to always get the real trees from Costco. Uh, they started out at $30 and slowly inched their way up to $40 this year. Um, so I'm really glad we finally bought this because this tree looks amazing. The only thing that's really missing with this tree is the scent. Um, the branches look as real as can be. Look at that. It's really, really nice. So, we have our tree set up with the Harry Potter train set available at Costco. I'll be doing a video on that after this. And also the Puzz 3D Hogwarts, but the only way this tree would be better is if there was like a power plug at the top somehow So you could put the star on the top of your tree um, Without having to run another cable But other than that Amazing if you unplug the tree and then plug it back in after like an hour It will remember the last setting that you set it to so you can use it with your smart device So you can say like I'll turn on the Christmas tree and it'll turn on you know but since it only uses 11 watts of power, I'm not really going to worry about buying a plug for it and turning it on and off. I'm just going to leave it on. The base of the tree does sit pretty high, which actually worked out pretty well for our Hogwarts. But uh, we are going to have to buy a taller tree skirt to cover up the base. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments, and I will answer them. And uh, thanks for watching.